Nearly eight months after Hurricane Florence and a few days before the Memorial Day weekend, we wanted to see how the coastal and PD regions are recovering after the storm. With thousands of summer tourists set to visit beaches in South Carolina starting this weekend, one beach in particular is looking to draw back their visitors. News 19's Jacob Reynolds traveled back to Myrtle Beach eight months later to talk with the mayor and ask if the city and the coastline are ready for visitors. The last time we were in Myrtle Beach, we were at this spot preparing for what Hurricane Florence could bring it to this area. And now we're back eight months later, a beautiful day out, the clear blue sea behind us. And we're joined by Myrtle Beach Mayor Brenda Bethune. And Mayor Bethune, uh, kind of tell us just eight months now, how's your city doing? We're doing great, as you can see. And thankfully, Myrtle Beach didn't experience a lot of physical damage from Florence. We were spared from what we thought was going to be a category four or five directly headed towards us. But what we did have was a huge economic hit to the area. Um, businesses were down on average 28%. It drastically affected tourism, primarily because people couldn't get here because our main line, the 501 bridge, was closed. But as you can see, the beaches are full, people are out, the weather is beautiful, and we are just so thankful that we weathered Florence as well as we did. And we were um, talking to businesses uh, throughout the day today, and they were telling us they kind of experienced that slow fall um, because of what the hurricane did and the kind of the access it closed off. Um, did you see any uh, long-term like closings and whatnot to your businesses because of the storm? No, not really. Everybody survived it really well and got back up and running and the attitudes were amazing. Uh, people just helping each other and on social media it was support local businesses, get out and um, go eat at local restaurants, shop locally. So it really was our community coming together, not only our business community, but our outer lying areas in the county who were so greatly affected by the flooding. And, um, and talking about that, um, I know when people think Myrtle Beach, a lot of times they think tourism, but y'all have people that live here, you live here. Talk about um, the flooding you saw, not just in Conway, but places closer. Well, Saucus T literally is about seven miles from Myrtle Beach. And when we look at the areas in the county where we had flooding, we had over 5,000 families that were affected by these floods and still are today. We still have some great organizations in the area, the Salvation Army, Catholic Charities, Samaritan's Purse, who continue to help these families recover and rebuild. But the fact is, a lot of these homes have been flooded up to three times within the past few years. So that, that really is hard to recover from. And it's also so damaging to their, to their spirit and you know, to their security. And um, we were talking before this, this is a mayor of action here. Um, your city was hit by a hurricane and now you're on the mayor's or the governor's floodwater commission. Uh, meetings are moving full steam ahead with that. And you were telling us about this concert y'all put together as well. Talk to me about what y'all are doing to make sure you're more protected for next time. What we did immediately after the storm was an after action committee meetings with all of the stakeholders and that included the county, the state, the hospitals, the colleges to really look at what our plans were. We were prepared for a category four or five but you can always evaluate those plans and say what could we have done better. So that process did take place. We also realized that even though Myrtle Beach was spared from a lot of the physical damage we did have our neighbors who were greatly affected by the flooding. So one of the things that we felt it was important to do was to help them and to be good neighbors. So the city of Myrtle Beach partnered with some other organizations to sponsor the Hurricane Florence Relief Concert. It was a great turnout. We raised over $130,000 that stayed here locally. And we had some great acts, uh, Michael Ray, Carly Pierce, Love and Theft, and, among others, and a special guest appearance by Darius Rucker. So it was just a great event, and we're so grateful for everybody that donated their time to be here for that. All right, well, thank you for joining us, and you heard it from Mayor Bethune. Uh, Myrtle Beach open, ready for business, and hoping people come enjoy the summer here eight months after the hurricane. And uh, I'm Jager Reynolds with News 19 WLTX.